think we did a real good job on the boards and just on the defense end. That's what we've been talking about all week. Um, in terms of my performance, I just – my fourth game back. So uh, my teammates do a real good job just trying to get me going. Coach telling me get to the basket, I'd settle for three. So just trying to do what I can, do what Coach asked me to do. I'm just happy to thank my teammates on that, giving me the ball, you know, um, rebounding. I knew I had to be more aggressive towards the um, rebounding side of the game. Um, and we just got to keep that same energy going in, from the next game and on, so on. Um. Uh, same question, or, uh, question for you. Um, third straight, one win. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just have to say that the um, game before our, it boosted our confidence, you know. So now we feel like we got a statement to make. You know, we're getting better at our defense each and every day. We're getting better um, scoring, you know. We got a lot of shooters. If one person have a um, bad night, we got another person that'll step up. And um, I just got to thank my teammates for, you know, giving me the ball, me and Craig, you know, going out there, giving a um, hard work for the team, you know. I think we're going in the right direction right now. I mean, most teams in our position would have gave up probably, just tanked the year. I mean, teams don't try to do that, but some teams would get in the position we were in, just give up. But coaching them have been telling us just grit. And at the end of the day, we really don't have nothing to lose. We're not in the top three, so we just playing basketball. And I think right now our confidence is coming from the defensive end. It's, 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 it's showing. I mean, it's showing right here. Right now we're getting steals. I mean, we're getting gaps. So. Uh, if we keep playing defense like we're playing, the offense will come because that's what we do. We score the ball, but if we keep getting stops every night. We, we'll be in pretty good shape. I'm real happy for my kids, really happy for my kids because they've been working extremely hard all year, and they de they're deserving of having a couple wins back to back because they've put in the hard work, and they've never one time quit on me or been a problem or, you know, they, they've just, they, they just keep coming. They, they take what I give. And I've been given it. I've been given. I haven't been a treat all season because uh, I'm very competitive, but they've accepted the challenge. So I'm very happy for my kids. You mentioned Coach Walker and Coach Bates up the defensive uh, side of play um, being after the injury to Jaden. You guys have really cheered for Jaden this year. Uh, what are your thoughts on the defense and how good the six men have been so far? Yeah, you know, they had some guys come in and get hot off the bench towards the last two minutes of the game. But we really, you know, we held them uh, at, for, uh, for the game at 32% um, field goal percentage. And uh, that's key. You know, that, that, that's a big time effort. Uh, we won the battle on the glass uh, by one. Um, but we just executed. And I mean, not just on the offensive end, we executed our defensive game plan. Uh, we mixed up our zone coverages. Uh, we tried to get out on shooters. We tried to run three-point shooters off the line. Uh, we were on our midline. We had our top and bottom eye. Those are just some basketball defensive terms. I don't mean to confuse you in if I did. But, you know, like I said, uh, after the EKU game, I had to strip everything down defensively and build it back up. And Coach Dre has been really big this week uh, helping out uh, on both sides of the ball, primarily on offense because Zach was uh, out with the flu. And hopefully we can get Zach here soon. I tell you what, what, the biggest thing Craig brings us is competitiveness. I mean, he goes hard, hard as nails every practice. Uh, he gets a lot, gets frustrated with himself at times because he's so, you know, he wants to do well all the time. He wants, he's striving for perfection. Sometimes I have to calm him down. Um, he's a very gifted offensive player. He gives us great length on defense. He's got a high basketball IQ. I'm just glad he's here, part of our, our Skyhawk culture. It just shows you the character they have. 
You know, they didn't like, oh, well, you know, we won a big game and Kevin Little went down. So, you know, we're just going to, you know, rest on our laurels for one big game on Thursday. They, they're hungry for more wins and they're going to step up for their brother, for their teammate. And, you know, we're just trying to st not trying. We are sticking together as a, as, a, as a team, our staff, our managers, our GAs, our players. One guy come, goes down, another guy steps up. And then Fiki's coming in. He's so no, he's playing some minutes. Everybody's contributing. They have to. I only had two guys on the bench, and that what a tremendous effort from our team today. I always want to thank our Skyhawk fans and our administration for being behind us, and uh, never, uh, you know, never sorry, their never say die attitude towards Skyhawk men's basketball. We are appreciative of that, and uh, we're looking forward to being in front of our fans next Thursday.